an eye out, blue eye. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Jeff got a, a voucher at work. They've allowed for about 150 bucks for a dinner, and that's what we're doing right well, now. It's not really. It's a lunch. Well, it's a lunch. We we chose to do lunch instead of dinner. Because we sleeps. Because we like our sleep. Okay. So anyway, this is what we've chosen. We're going to go some raw oysters and then we're going to have some white soy chili and we're going to have some shallots, some red wine, we're going to have some Patrick's and then down here we're having some sashimi and then we're going to have some seed scallops and then we're going to have a so, We're making good use of the 150 bucks. And some drinks. Oh, and the drinks. Jeff says <laughs> and the drinks. What are we having to drink, Jeff? We're going to have a... Um... What are you going to have? Well, we're either going to have a bottle of champagne yeah. or we're going to have a... Um, did you notice that? that? Did you see him do that swipe then? He's um he's grown a beard. It's the first time ever. I don't mind it. I've it's never, actually I'm, quite I've nice. I've never grown a beard. <laughs> never. He is growing his beard. I always had a goatee when I was young. And so since he's had a beard, he's been indecisive about what he wants to do because he just does this with his hand right now that he's doing now. <laughs> Sean Connery. Um, but no, we're going to have yeah. the... Two cities pale ale. Alright, let's go. Are we? Two yeah, of those, good. please. Thank you. Two of glasses. And we've got cutlery. But we've got nothing else. We've got nothing else right now. And sitting out in the sun. This, we've eaten here before. This is actually a really, really nice restaurant. So, and we are out in the sun. I put Jeff behind the glass screen because he was worried about feeling cold. No, I wasn't. <laughs> You were. I was. Said, Do you want to sit inside? And I went. I like being no. on my own. I didn't like being. Like, you can be on your own in a restaurant. Don't be stupid. Stop. This is um, two cities. There it is. Two cities brewing. Apparently a Victorian Hobart kind of combo. Well, Never good. heard of. It's got approachable American style pale made to enjoy with friends. Citrus and tropical hops supported by a round malt backbone. Two Cities Brewing is the passion created of two brothers separated by a strait of water. So there's one in Melbourne and there's one in Fez. Right. There we go. That's the Patrick. That's the Jeff. Whatever. Sorry. And we've already We've already started on the fresh, sorry. <laughs> hey, this is the. Oh, these look good. Isn't it? Yeah. This is the seared swordfish. I don't like I reckon this will be nice. Jeff doesn't like it. He's very no. He hasn't tasted it yet. Get your chopsticks out, Jeff. I don't like that. This is the size of the scallop. Just throwing stuff on my plate. This is it, guys. This is the, um, the lot. With scallops the size of my thumb. Mm. And um, now we're at Society, which is a place we don't often frequent, but Jeff's decided he's going to order a barbie. He's got a barbie, I'll tell you what it is. It's got Malibu, dragon fruit, coconut, apple and lime. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. I'm the barbie girl <laughs> in a barbie world. There we go, Jeff's got his pink, pink. I'm a bobby girl <laughs> in a bobby world. Does it taste like Jeff? Does it's it taste, fantastic. Does it taste like Barbie? Tastes like plastic. <laughs> oh Jesus, you would hate that. You would I? Uh, right, it's my turn to taste Barbie. You'll hate it. Yeah. Uh, it's like a um. It's like a raspberry smoothie with coconut or something. It's like cooking something in coconut oil. You have the oil, you have the coconut oil? Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, if bar this is what Barbie tastes like, I don't want it. <laughs> Barbie's sexy. <laughs> Barbie's what? Give it to me, Barbie. <laughs> Barbie's sexy. I've, I've ordered a um, Jeff's favourite drink. A blood orange, I believe. It's got this... They put these things... They put these little things in. You can't... You can't eat them or nothing. Jeff reckons that they add flavour. I don't know. I think that's full of rubbish. But a blood orange. Oh, that's disgusting. Don't get the bow. But it's fuzzy. Don't know about it. What do you reckon? It's better than mine. <laughs> Looks like I'm a winner then. Do you want a No, I don't want that. 
You can take your farming and go party somewhere else. What made it pink? What made it pink? <laughs> the toxins. Our next stop on our tour around new places in Hobart is the Spotty Dog Brewery and Tap House. Now you'll find this one on 11 Bender Drive in Derwent Park. It's about 15 minutes out of the city. Well worth the drive. Brand new spanking building overlooking um, Prince Philip Bay, which we'll see in a moment. They have a great selection of brews on taps and while they don't offer a paddle tasting, you are able to have taste of each of these before you purchase your glass. There was nothing on this row <laughs> that I didn't like. The only other place where that has happened is down on Bruni Island at the winery down there. So this may become a regular type drop in for us for sure. Hi everyone, it's Ali and Jeff reporting from the Spotty Dog Brewers. They've only just opened up here in Hobart recently, I believe. And so I was just checking out their Facebook page. It looks like Bill, the sign just went up just not long ago. We've, um, I'd like to show you and review some of the drinks that we've had. They're already gone. <laughs> Glennie's over here. There's one. Yep, there's it's one. Beautiful. <laughs> texture in there. And Leah's gone for a My usual. Texture. <laughs> but uh, what did you have, Jeff? The Kelly, which is a uh, hazy pale ale. And what did you think of it? Is that nice? <laughs> very nice. Right at the Kelly. Yeah. I nice. had um, the, the raspberry, which is also very, very nice. delicious. Refreshing. Tried the lager. Everything here tastes awesome. And if you're out this way, I recommend that you pop in because it's beautiful. Great spot. Little marae. Yeah. Puts hairs on your face. Great view. <laughs> 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 Jess says puts hairs on your face. <laughs> Check out Spotty Dog. Our next stop is a little gem that we found during one of our walks through Hobart. This hotel had a mix of the old and the new. The Cascade on Collins was part of the old Cascade owned by the De Greaves family and it also had the old stables here inside. We were fortunate enough to have popped in for a drink when it wasn't so busy and we were given a little bit of a tour around the hotel and some of its history so I was pretty lucky and fortunate as well. It looks like not only a fantastic place to stay but also a really good spot if you're looking at different places to have a drink through Hobart. You could call in here, have a nice seat at the front window and enjoy some time passing by until you head to the next one. We were getting a bit hungry, so it was off to the Shamrock Hotel on Liverpool Street for a spot to eat and drink. It's so great. It is raining. Oh. <laughs> I think so. Right. Is there a cover? I think there's a cover. Oh, yeah. Just down from the Shamrock Hotel is the Hanging Garden. There's an entrance off Liverpool and Elizabeth Streets. You can go in there and grab yourself another drink. They do do cocktails. Great outdoor area. 
and there's also some food bins on site which we discovered. Why is that? I want to watch Goth come. <laughs> oh dear. travel into town for eats and drinks using the Bell Reef Ferry and on this occasion on the way home we had to stop for something quite special. Part way through our trip back across to Bell Reef the captain said there was a whale that had been spotted by the motor ferry down near the bridge so we took a bit of a detour for around 15 minutes trying to search for this said whale and we did see yeah. it reach a couple of times which was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Can be anywhere right now. <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> And while we did see the whale on the ferry but had no video evidence, it wasn't until we got home and we opened our curtains and guess what? Thanks for sticking around and watching the vlog. It's time for us to dry off and get warm and cozy down for the evening. If you enjoy what we do, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. If you have any questions about any of our travels or anything to do with Tasmania or places to see, by all means, make sure you reach out to us and we will catch you in the next one.